Well, hey, fuckers. Happy Taco Tuesday. Guess what time it is? Hey, Sharon, what's the tea? Let's find out what the tea is for you fuckers today. Tap that damn screen. I mean, tap your energy in like you mean it, okay? And remember, there's no hashtags. This is a collective, not a private reading. Use your discernment. Don't make it fit. And if it don't fucking fit, keep scrolling, okay? All right. Now, did you tap that screen? Did you tap it? Tap it. Parent team, what's the tea? Oh. All right. So somebody is all played out. They're too busy winning to be play, being a player and shit. You know what I mean? Like they're done fucking around. They're they're too busy winning. And we got a spiritual hater at our midst here. And somebody who's dodging bullets trying to block negativity. negativity. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to block negativities. But somebody's trying to block negativity. Okay? Alright. Spirit team, what can you tell me about this shit? What's going on? I know what I think's going on, but you tell me what's going on. Okay. Alright, so somebody is... Whoever you tapped in about likes to party, likes to hang out with friends, and, you know, drink a little bit, enjoy a little splendor, whatever. Um, but these these friends are karmic, okay? These friends that this person's hanging out with, been hanging out with, is karmic, meaning that they can't be trusted. They can't be trusted. They're liars, or they're fucking manipulators, they're conniving and taboo, unconventional, um, don't have any really morals or ethics, and the way they live is just beyond me. Anyway, um, these are your spiritual haters right there. Mm -hmm. These people are jealous of you, jealous of your magic, your light, your power, hating on that shit because they can't get away with shit. And what they're trying to get away with is trying to cock block your motherfucking person. Uh-huh. Yes, they are. But see, here's the problem. Your motherfucking person is not taking no shit. They're trying to avoid haters, blocking haters, blocking negativity. So the shit ain't working. And you know what? That means you're too busy winning in this shit. <laughs> and because your person is all played out. They're like, mm -mm. I'm not listening to your bullshit anymore. Kudos, whoever you are. Because I know what they've been telling you and this bullshit they've been trying to feed into your head has been haunting you for a hot minute. Okay? I even feel like they try to convince you that somebody was doing spec spells and hexes on your ass. Total lie, but you know, all right? Yeah, like I said, they're trying to compete. Girl fight. Like, they're jealous. So, whoever this is, whoever you tapped in about, I feel has been having some sort of a romantic involvement with these people. Or people in the group, you know what I mean? Now, they these people are, like, copying off of you, feeding off of you, stealing your ideas, trying to convince this person every which way, but Sunday, that you're a terrible person. Okay, but your person's been reflecting back, and they know better. Okay, they know better. They're like, you don't know what you're talking about, bitch. <laughs> and your person, all this time that they've been kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's true. They've been going through all your comments, all your social media, and confirming that they're liars. Okay, and that all they are are happiness haters. All right. Your person has been watching your social media on fake accounts. I can't make this shit up, y'all. It's like I'm psychic. Okay, they've been going through your comments, looking at all your shit, and realizing, oh, yeah, they're fucking liars. Okay, and now, whoever this is in the group that they were romantically involved with, their ego is hurt. Right? So, because they have a high ego, they think their shit don't stink, you know, but their shit smells like shit, you know what I mean? But they think that it don't stink, and my shit smells like roses. No, bitch, your shit stinks. It stinks bad. Okay? And your ego, you got no right to have one because you ugly inside and out. You ugly. That's what happens. When you ugly on the inside, it bleeds through the outside. And this bitch is ugly on the inside. Okay? I'm not a judgmental or shallow person. I look to see what's on the inside as well as the outside. Okay? Ugly on the inside. Ugly on the outside. Get me? All right. So this bitch is jealous of you. Her ego is burned and bruised because your person has rejected her. Yes, yes, yes. 
and your person wants you back and she fucking knows it and she can't stand that. So now that she her ego is bruised, she's jealous and all this shit, she has put her bullshit into overdrive, okay? She thinks she knows how to push your person's buttons. She thinks she knows how to continue to control your person. But your person has woken up. Your person has had an awakening. Your person knows that this is a fucking phony ass, lying ass, conniving bitch. And if you want to know the truth, she fucking loves me. Oh, yeah. And hangs out with other cunts. Very, very bad reputation. Okay. Cunt. Whore. She's got the community pussy. You know what I'm saying? What is it? Does anybody want some pussy? Pussy? Anyone? Pussy? Get your pussy. Get your pussy. Kind of bitch. <laughs> anyway, and she's also a drama starter because she has no life except for what she shares, which is her pussy. With everybody. Yeah, I went there. And this bitch... She got no facts whatsoever, but she makes shit up all the damn time. She got bad habits like a motherfucker, too. Bad habits. Might even be doing drugs and all this shit, okay? And the only thing she's good about is having an affair because she is that kind of person. A whore. This third party. A whore. But she thinks she's in love with your person, and she ain't giving up that wand because that wand is awesome. I get it. Look, she fantasizing. She's missing your your divine masculine. But guess what? Keyword: your divine masculine, not hers. I don't care what the fuck happens between these two. This divine masculine does not belong to her. This divine masculine belongs to you. That's what the stars say. Okay. So now. This person is just wasting time trying to, you know, be, act like they really generous to your person. Like, oh, let me help you. I can help you with anything you need. I'm here for you. Uh -huh. I care about you so much. Translated. I care about controlling you and getting what I want out of you whenever I want. And keeping you from... <sighs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wearing a wolf in sheep's clothing, playing a role, trying to convince your person... That they are the cat's meow when all they are is a dog. A dog. Yeah, and you? <laughs> you don't give a fuck. You give zero fucks about this bitch. Like, you ignoring all that shit because you're queen rising. You've stepped up into your power. You've leveled up. You, you don't give a fuck. Your confidence level is on point. And you know what? Fuck that bitch. Because that's her only problem. Through all of this, she has no confidence. She's very insecure. Because if she wasn't insecure, she wouldn't be worried about you. Why is she worried about you? Because your person feels like they hit the jackpot with you. You are their jackpot. You are their wish fulfillment. You are the one thing they've been wanting for a long time and haven't been able to grasp. Like winning the jackpot on the lottery, right? This person's been moving in silence, kind of keeping to themselves, not really talking, so I don't think you guys are talking or having any, com you know, communication. Oh, looky there. They're watching you. <laughs> On social media, look, the stalker card. In fact, I think they're low-key obsessed with you. Now, there's something to do with children, and I feel like, so there's children involved here, so I feel like this person has responsibilities, but I also feel like this person's coming forward with some sort of an offer for you, Okay. I feel like they want to talk to you. I feel like they want to offer you something. And, yeah. I feel like you've been moving on. You've been kind of glowing up, leveling up, moving on from the situation. And now this person's feeling that energy. They're feeling that energy that you pulled back. They've been fantasizing about you. They've been, you know, they have love on the brain for you. They've been missing you something awful. Um, daydreaming about you on a daily. You're in this person's head every fucking day. And this person is dealing with this obsessive, stupid bitch that's bringing them a whole lot of bad karma and something to do with children. So, I hope this message helps. I love you. Have a great fucking day. Tacos. Tacos, 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 tacos!